Welcome to my really tentative TBR for the Reading Rush, which started for Monday. Today is Saturday. Um, number one, I have a lot to do next week. I don't know if I'll, like, get anywhere close to reading all these books. Number two, I am really bad at keeping TBRs. And even if I read seven books, it's probably not going to be these seven books. Number three, I haven't really started looking at which books fit like the most categories so I'm just gonna list them off and then we'll see if I read them. I'm also not gonna talk like overly about the plot because I haven't read these books and I might not even read them soon. So the first um, challenge was kind of the hardest for me which is a book cover with the color of your birthstone which I had to look up. It's some kind of stone which is like light green. The Lost Coast by Emily Rose Capetta has some light green on the cover, so this is the book I chose to read for this, or like I'm choosing to possibly read for this. Um, it's kind of witchy, which is cool. Um, challenge number two is probably the challenge that I can meet with like a lot of books that I might read, which is um, the word the or the or the in the title. Um, for right now, I chose The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, um, but that's just for right now. This is um, book one in the second era of the Mistborn series. Um, and it's really short for a Brandon Sanderson book, which is cool. Then, challenge number three. A book that inspired a movie that you already watched. Um, now, on my physical TBR, this is the only thing that has a movie, which is The Imitation Game, Alan Turing Decoded by Jim Ottaviani and illustrated by Leland Purvis. Um, I haven't yet watched the movie, so I will have to do that um, either like today or tomorrow or during the reading rush as well if I want to read this, but there's also the possibility of just like reading something I either already read or um, that I haven't read from my library. We will see. Then we have the next two challenges, which I'm just going to do together, which is a, a book completely outside your house. And the first book to touch, I have the privilege of being able to read outside. I have a balcony um, and also where I live in Germany, it is pretty safe to just go outside. Um, I have a lot of opportunities to be outside socially distanced without meeting a lot of people. So that's totally an option for me and totally a thing that I can do. Now, the first book you touch, um, I could be really stuck and say, okay, I have now touched this book and I need to read it. Um, we will see. What I chose are White Sand Volume 1 and Volume 2, which are based on an idea by Brandon Sanderson. Um, if I want to continue with the way I am trying to read Bretton Sanderson's Cosmia, I do need to read these two before I read um, The Alloy of Law. Um, for some reason they really intimidate me, although they're graphic novels. Um, but this is what I chose right now. I do think I can still get through them pretty quickly. Um, then we have read a book in a genre you always wanted to read. I don't really have a genre I always wanted to read but haven't so I'm just going to do a genre that I want to read more of and the book I chose is Flavia de Luz, uh, Tote Vögel Singen Nicht um, by Alan Pratley. So first of all it's like a middle grade mystery which I don't read a lot of and number one which is not really a genre but it is German. Um, like it's not originally written in German, but this is the German edition. And I do also want to read a little bit more German books because um, it's my native language and I mean it does make sense to sometimes read in it. And the last challenge is read a book that is set on a different continent. Um, I am very much trying not to read a book that is set in America, which is obviously another continent than Europe, but that's kind of a cop out in my opinion. So um, what I chose is also kind of controversial. It is The Reason I Jump by 
Naoki Higashida, um, which was translated by David Mitchell and his wife. Um, this book is controversial for a lot, like, not for a lot of reasons, I think, but, like, for the re- like, it is controversial because it's written by a boy with autism who is nonverbal, and it has been accused of being, like, really comforting to parents and caretakers instead of, like, really honest about the way it is to live with autism in the world, but especially in Japan. Um, I'm not the authority on that, but I do own the book, and I also have heard good things about it, so I am going to try to read that. So these are all the books I chose, tentatively, and I hope I'll get to a lot of them, and I hope to see you during the reading rush. Have a nice day.